it's... No, but you have to keep it down. Are we live? Yeah. Hello! Hello. Did you get new graphics made? Yeah. Okay, good. Hello! Thank you for joining us for another episode of Shenanigans. Here we are. Another Wednesday. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo, yeah. Hi, Ian, Mary, Deanna. Yeah, we're all here having fun. Deanna Um, from Tennessee. Yeah, I think... um, Gene and jo- uh, John won't be on because they have the grandkids today, I think. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Mm. So everybody else is a better... Well, well Gene's probably on, so she's going to win the, the quiz, probably. Oh. Um, as far as shop... Hi, news, Victoria. As Lynn? far as shop news goes, we're going to start putting a calendar together for March and April. We're a little late on March because that's, like, next week, I think. But that'll be going up hopefully before the week's out. Um, so we're going to get some more stuff on the calendar. You're going on vacation, though, aren't you? I am. Okay. <laughs> I'd be gone. Um, and then um, the other thing with Shop News is we have a bunch of sewing machines that came in. I don't have any um, BQ1350s yet, which is the one that everybody wow, wants. That is the cat's piano. But I have a lot of the PS500s, which are a fantastic machine. Um, if you know somebody in your life that's just getting into sewing, it's a really good machine. Price-wise, it comes in very reasonably priced. Lots of features. For somebody that's just starting out sewing, it's a really good machine to, to get started with. We have, I think, five of those came in because... They were back wow. ordered, and I kept ordering them, and I kept ordering wow. them. Wow! <laughs> wow! Awesome. Them. So I had five of them, and I think we've got a couple. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a few selections of sewing machines, so they're starting to come in. Um, like I said, the ones that we have, if you've been sewing for a while, I mean, if you're on an older machine, they're nice upgrades, but the BQ thirteen fifty is really the one. It's just that, a great package. It's a great machine. The, so the, the amount of stuff you get. So most of the people that are probably watching this right now, that that's the machine they want. But if you have a friend, or you're sewing on a thirty year old singer, then I would say a PS five hundred. We've got them in stock, and come check them out. They're nice machines. Uh, there's that, and the only other thing up for shop news, we had some fabric come in. Yeah. Which oh, you guys are breaking. Oh. I was going to say, don't break Ouch. the hoop. Um, so this came in, and this is a really kind of a fun, this is just a space panel. You and your spaces. Well, it's kind of cool because, is see, and it's, a, and it's a 60 inch. I don't like being in the way. And it's 60, it's a 60 inch, um, a 60 inch panel. So this is 60 inches long, and it's still the regular two thirds. So it's really kind of a cool That's a panel? panel. This is a panel, yes. Wow. And what's nice about it is we've also got the coordinate that went with There's a whole bunch of other stuff like rocket ships and all that that went with this, but I just stuck to the... Rocket man! Um, and this is 60 inches wide, so this would make a great quilt back on like a kid's quilt of some sort, or you can, oh. uh, or you could sew with it. But this is just a really nice coordinate print. This came in, I don't expect this to last long. This is the kind of stuff inch? that... Yeah this, yeah, this disappears quick for backs. Yeah. There's that. And then the other thing, which I know people will be excited about, I had to reorder some Tulip Pink Basics. And I didn't have enough on my order for the free shipping. Mm, I'm surprised you could still get that. So I just oh randomly goodness. ordered <laughs> some some of this. That's your black and white. Yeah, that's the the, the yeah the, the line, line art. art. So it's like I, we, we picked gorgeous. up gorgeous, and of course it goes with all her basics. Yeah, we picked up a couple them. a couple pieces of it um, just because. This has got skunks on it. Just because I could, but there's skunks out of flowers, which I is kind of neat. I know, but that's what's cool yeah. about it, right? And then the other one is lemurs. Lemurs, yes. Which, so that's my favorite. Lemurs. That's all the new stuff that came in. I don't have a lot of awesome shop news today because, well, I wasn't prepared. I was in the middle you of something. You always say that. You well, know I that. was going to do my whole outline, but I had a machine that we just sold, which is why I'm sweaty because I had to lift a big machine and load it into a car. Pretend like I'm a muscle man. We don't feel bad for you. You shouldn't feel bad no. for me. No. I'm just making excuses of why my shop news is lame today. Okay. All right. Lame. Well, but uh, we should get a shot. Of, uh, Eddie's looking pretty dapper. Eddie, Eddie's looking very Eddie dapper. I wish him, we had a camera that I could Eddie look, scored himself look, a look, suit. Look. Oh, no. There's people in the background. Oh, okay. We haven't signed there. They're, they're, they're really but Eddie scored oh. himself a suit a couple weeks ago, yeah. and he wears it on occasion, and I'm like, dang. Dang. My, I got a good-looking kid. Yeah. I don't know how. I don't either. Yeah. I blame his mother for that. Okay. I, I, I blame his brain. His, his brains are my fault. His looks, I give to him. His, I give to his mother. Okay. Well, I have some news. Behind you is block three of Frosty. Yes. Oh, I gotta get block two. You out. need to move so they can see it. I, I have to um have get to... block three mailed out to. No, block two. We'll this, mail is, that, yes. this will official release is supposed to be the fifteenth. Yes. But somebody's going on vacation. So they get to so see So I've been working hard to get it ready. No, is it the 15th of March? 
Yeah. Okay. But. I wasn't sure what our schedule was. But Becky is going to release it earlier. That's a fantastic. Because I won't be here on the 15th of the March. So I want to release it next week. You're going to be on a beach somewhere, aren't you? I, I am. Sicking, sipping adult beverages? I hope so. I don't know. My back is still out, so. Well, that's going to get you out of golfing. It. it <laughs> <laughs> this is not fake. This is real. <laughs> Shh. Don't say that out loud, Brian. Um. <laughs> He found us on Rumble. Cumble, Sumble. Rumble, yeah. Yeah. He goes, hey. I said, I don't even know what Rumble is. How do you know what Rumble is? He goes, I'll go on Rumble so I can watch videos that aren't filtered. Yes. Because apparently you do. We don't have unfiltered videos on Rumble. That's not what we're doing. We're just, I just know there's another market. There. Right, and that's what he apparently, I said, whoa. So he goes, hey, you're over here. So it's the only time you watch me is because we, you, you were on Rumble. <laughs> And you know what? We got quite a few views over on Rumble. Oh, yeah. I'm like, what are they expecting over there? I don't know. The clientele um, that turns on to Rumble is, I think, different than the YouTube people. No, but what do there's I know? A, it's a little bit different. It's a little. I would say I'm not saying it's a different. Don't you have a Rumble account yet? No, I do not. I do uh, not have a, a Rumble account. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll get into this real quick. Um, I just had on air right now. Oh yeah, because I'm yeah. watching you. Yeah. But uh, you pain, know, pain Rumble, <laughs> Rumble is basically an alternative to YouTube, and people that watch things like see Alec, here we are, like Alex Jones, oh. end up on Rumble. I'm not saying that that's yeah. He said that I have you, no, I have no opinion. You go there so you can say and do things that you can't. Yeah, you can't on YouTube. I'm like, oh, they'll ask me why Brent put us over there. <laughs> well, that's how come I know about it, and I just figured it's also a. I I think the quilting content on Rumble is a lot less competitive than on YouTube. Oh, I was surprised how many views because, that, that we had yeah, over there. Because, I'm like, oh my gosh. I was, because we're not talking about like overthrowing dictatorships no, on our no, cult show. No, and that's not. the kind of we, thing you, you do on no, Rumble. No, we try to stay away from stuff that, <laughs> that we don't agree on. Because there's no, but a lot. That's what I'm saying. That, 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 okay, that, that, take quilting yes. times 20. Yeah. Right? No. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So on Rumble, we're kind of a, we're, we do a much, much, much less competition, which is why I put us over there. But to get back on track, because yes. that's what we don't do well, is <laughs> Frosty Country Store is all digitized. There's a few more cutting left to do, because uh, we are still doing your cut files for you. But in block with block three, I have come up with a way to not use sticky back stabilizer. Ooh. And I will be showing you how I did that. That's very because sticky back stabilizer is expensive. And it's a pain to get off. Yeah. So with just using Kimberbell's Project Batting and okay. no other stabilizer, that's the results I got. That's pretty good. It's phenomenal. Yeah, like there's no puckering. It's phenomenal. Oh, but you used. I used what? Remember how we had that issue with the with the with the gray fabric? There's two different types. Yeah. I can now see you looking at it, the the difference. Yeah, I would say no. It's not. What are you talking about? Remember how we ordered the fabric and one of them was confetti and the other yeah. one was the sateen? Oh, that shouldn't be discussed right now. I'm just saying it's one of those where like there's really not much of a difference except how it feels. But now that I'm looking at it, once you wash a couple times, nobody will notice. But if you don't know what you're looking at, I you're think not that's the original gray. It's not. It's not. I can tell from looking at it. Are you bursting my bubble? Like, this is like, this is like a, That's a lot of work in that. No, it looks fine. I don't think you're gonna. It's one of those. I only notice it because I buy the fabric and I know these things. Okay. I bet when you put this next to whatever, you're not gonna notice. Well, if we don't, you're gonna have a lot of screaming memes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we have the right stuff now. Oh, good. So it's just mine. It might be just yours. It'll I'm thinking, just be yes. mine. <laughs> yes, because this 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 bolt here is the right stuff. Okay, good. And that's what I've been cutting people when they have okay. questions. All right. And I have another bolt of it on the floor. Okay. Then we're good, no matter what. Yeah. We're good. Well, we just totally went off. off we topic. did. That's that was, what we do. That was I'm like sorry. backstage access right there. What happens behind the scenes? Yeah, but it is it is going to be released next Wednesday. Yeah. So it's being released early because. Um, I'm going to be gone. Right. So I Good want to get the tape, the instructions, the video, everything done. And then you won't see month four until yeah. the regular time in April. Yeah. But we'll get it out So we there. should all go on vacation is what you're saying? No, 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 no. Well, if we no. all go on vacation, we're going to month four at the right time. You know? Yeah, no, no, no. Anyway, so that's anyway. all I got for shop news. So I'm going to turn it back over to you. Okay, well, it's time for quiz. It's quiz time. Okay. Who's on today? Okay, there will be a winner. There will be a winner. Okay. There will be a winner. I always say I love hanging out with people because I always learn something. 
I always learn something. And on last week's show, I learned something that I didn't know. And it wasn't brilliance. And it was how to change, how to rotate my hoop quickly. What did I learn from a viewer that I did not know? Oh, well, even I know the answer to this. Music? Do, 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 do. And, and I've used music. it a lot ever since, go. so I thank you. Do, 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 do. I can't even dance. I'll try to dance. What did I learn? Viewer, viewer commented in, hey, does she know you can do this? And I went, Whoa! no, I do not know I could do that. And then I did it and, it, and it really has been something I've used a lot. Nobody? Victoria? Are you just being polite? Nobody? There's a rotate at the bottom two, two bar. Yay, audience member. Has, Diana has said there's a rotate at the bottom of the... And Victoria, yes, Victoria was being polite and let Diana win. Yay, Diana, good job. Yes, that's the answer, GC. $10 GC, GC yes. and Victoria taught it to me, so maybe we have to do two. Well, Victoria, then she wins automatically because she taught it to you. Uh, okay, so yeah, thank you. And Victoria, I have used it so much since she showed me that. So <laughs> we have that's a why we, we have, we have, have a, to... Have a group of people, a gaggle of people, double yeah. click hoop, hoop, Jeep girl Jeep says. Jeep girl, yes. Yes, thank yeah, you. Yeah, did I talk about my Jeep? So my uh, kid was borrowing it and the radiator blew, so it overheated. Uh, now I need a new engine and I'm sad. A whole new engine? I don't know, I'm going to try and build it. I think I just need heads, but that's all. That's my that's my next project. Oh, God. That's why I Doesn't never let my kid exciting? borrow my car, ever. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> It wasn't the kid's fault. That's, it always costs money. It's, it wasn't the kid's fault because I was working on the Jeep and the guy that I bought some parts from, he's like, oh, what are you doing there? You should change the radiator because you're going to need to change the radiator. No, that can wait till next okay, summer. Okay, show Quilt of the but Week. Anyway, I don't want to hear about a radiator. I know, you don't care. Do Quilt you guys want to hear about a radiator? Nobody wants it. I just saw the Jeep girl thing and it made me think of my Jeep. Okay. You know, you know. You, you know. didn't show me that, Victoria? Oh, who well, did? Somebody last week Victoria did. wins anyway. I thought it was Victoria. Like Victoria. Look, it she's... Was, um, Danny. No, no. It was uh, Victoria. Uh, com it was a comment, and then Danny. So I but good like, job, Diana. I love this quilt. This is quilt of the week because this is all. That's K Yeah, I don't even have to say it was a K calf. 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 I don't know. Calf. Facet. Facet. <laughs> and I and I'm showing this because I actually have the sales rep that's going to show us the, the, these collections today, and I never buy them. You know why? Because I never have any idea what to do with them. But every time I see a quilt, they're gorgeous. But because they're, they're such are. huge prints, they are. they're very hard to wrap your mind around what you got to do with them. Yeah. But every time I see them done up, I'm going to flip it over so you can see the top half too there. But every time I see them done up, they're just gorgeous. Yeah. I, and that's why I, I thought I would use it. Quote with and what's really nice about this is how easy it was for her to make because these are just giant squares. They're giant squares. I uh, think I did mine. It had Y seams in it and everything. Yeah. There was some pattern. But, it, yeah, but if you have Y seams in it, you're never going to see it with a K facet because it's so much going on in them. They're really, like I said, it's beautiful fabric, mm -hmm. but I, I, I thought it was a gorgeous quilt. Like I said, it was one of those things that I, li I wanted to show it just because it kind of gets into the idea of, of uh, print scaling. Because if you look closely here, see, you can see that there's two different fabrics here. But the problem is, if you want to zoom out now, Eddie, those are two different fabrics. But mm -hmm. because the scale on these prints is so huge... It's very hard to see the contrast sometimes. It's very hard to see the pattern, except in these giant blocks. The blocks look great because they're kind of like 10 inches, but once you start cutting it down to like two and a half, you lose a lot of that. Um, and that's where I get lost with these kind of fabrics, is that's why I don't have a lot of them in the stores, because I like them because you can use big prints with them, but you really do have to look at it. It's a different way of looking at your design mm -hmm. because of color values and everything else because of the size of the prints. It makes a very... Um, that's Quilt of the Week? That's Quilt of the Week. And who, who first Sally. 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 Congratulations, yeah. Sally, for Quilt of the Week. She usually brings me B quilts. Oh. oh, really? Yeah, she has B quilts and K facet quilts. Oh, so nice, nice, she, nice. Yeah, <laughs> I start to notice there's some people that bring me a lot of the same stuff. Like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, there's one That's guy. funny. Well, we all have our taste. Yeah. You fall into a rhythm with what you like. And, and you find, and you find I out. have a rhythm. I love applique. Well, I was just having that conversation with um, somebody in the shop because they keep buying thread and bringing me back threads. You're like, I already have this at home. It's oh, like, dear. well, you obviously like Do they know there's an app for that? Yeah, 
It doesn't matter. Bring it back in. We swap them out as long as they're no, not open. No, but it would save them if they use their little app to check out this. But then they, they wouldn't have. come visit us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> so that's cool to the week. Okay. All right. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. Um, my turbo tip this week has is it turbo well, I'll, tip I'll, time? I see what our new yeah it is, but I want to see what our new graphic is because uh, Eddie. Victoria, you did say it was in the pre preferences. Yes. Okay, so maybe it's a see. It's a combination of the quilting world pointing me to double yes. click at the bottom of the screen. I learned oh. something new. Woo! Um, okay. what are you doing? Uh, turbo tip. He's supposed to be doing their turbo tips for us. Well, there's a big delay now. I know. I'm I going to forget my turbo tip. He's supposed to do new graphics, and that was just. I had them, but they're not working. It's not working. Okay. Okay. All right, boy, oh, boy. All peeps. right. Boy well, tune in next week, and you can see the yeah. graphics. Now there is a show <laughs> that Brother has on YouTube. Oh, I know, I know. Called Brother Sews. And Angela Wolf is now hosting it. And they come on, I think, twice a week. Um, the shows are a long. They're over an hour long. Oh, really no, Turbo Tips. They're, they're an hour long. So, you, you know, I, I watch them religiously because I've always got my ear tuned to something new and different. And la I think it was last week's... Uh, Thursday show, which literally goes on for an hour, and if you're not like me, you could you get to the point where you're not listening because well, you know. My suspicion. It's is, all about selling brother products. Yeah, but my suspicion it's is all about also brother the, stabilizer and brother hoops and brother machines. But my suspicion and, is that their format was for like public access television or something, not like YouTube. No, so it's YouTube. It's YouTube oh, and know, Facebook. I'm, I know, but what I'm saying is they probably developed it originally oh, for other well, forms. Anyway, but, but so that's why it's an hour long. They don't know that our attention span is, you know. Well, the, in, well, we do the same thing, and they're yeah. trying to cut it down, trying to cut it down to 45 minutes, and you're not helping. Um, but at the very oh, end, at the very end, I learned a few things along the way, but at the very end I went, what? Are you kidding me? So I wanted to pass the, what? Are you kidding me? I never knew that. Okay. When you are in embroidery Is that the name mode, of this actual segment? Woo, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, that's what it is. That's what, are you okay, kidding so me? Okay, so we're over that's here. What, I'm going to bring up any design right now, okay? Because okay. it doesn't matter what design it is. Okay. Oh, I should because I had you get a tiny hoop. Find a tiny design. Find a tiny hoop? Find a tiny design okay. for a tiny hoop. For tiny How hoops. many of you... Myself included, go. Oh no, what's going on? Oh no, what's going on? And you, you go to reach. I need the uh, the camera. You. The camera where? That camera. That camera. You go to reach for the for this button right here to to stop your machine. Yeah. Right? Because you're like something sounds monkey. Something's not going right. And I'm always like stop, stop, stop. And you end up going. Whoosh, whoosh. It's like you're in panic mode and you can't remember where that stupid little button is. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Load up, load up the, you're going to go, woo. Just load up the hoop? Just load up the hoop. I, I think, okay. it, can we run it without fabric? Yeah. Okay. This is going to. I mean, we might. Maybe y'all knew this already. Might, I'm the last gonna, one to know this. We're probably going to pop the uh, thread brake sensor, but, you know, if we hit your button fast, whatever your trick is fast enough. Okay. So, press go. Okay. Let it start. Yeah. Nope. Something's going wrong. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just hit the screen? Anywhere on the screen. <laughs> Anywhere on your screen, people, puts it in stop mode. Do you know how much easier that is for my brain? You knew that? Did you all know that? I didn't know I that. I, I think I knew that. I always I always end up going, oh my god, oh my oh, god, oh my god. Yeah. yeah, and then you go, and then you're like, and this is on any, these are on not just Lumineers. Any of the brothers. With the touchscreens? Yeah. I don't think I knew that. I think I learned something today. I did not know that, and when I and I, that was in the last two seconds of that hour and twenty minute show, and I'm like, what? That would make my life so much easier, I'll tell even you what in I, classes, because people panic. They panic, and all of a sudden they can't find that green button. It's yes. it's scary. But just hit 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 the screen over here, and it shuts right off. What's with so, the that's what I got. green band there, Eddie? I don't know. 
Oh, goodness. Yeah, yeah Nicktory, that's what I said. Wow. But I will tell you what I get calls on. If you look at the screen here. Okay. This is the one. Well, this is the panic call I get. If this gets turned on. Oh, yeah. And then the touch button. No, it's like, and oh, my, my machine's broken. Yeah. I can't touch anything. Yeah. That's unlock the, it. Unlock it. Unlock it. Yeah. Or the other one that really freaks people out is this one. Because they're, because they're like, my screen is gray, and then yeah. all your buttons over here don't work as well. Right. So. Yeah. So how do you get out of that? You just hit that again. Okay. Yeah. Those, are, right. the, those are the two that get yeah. you in trouble. But there you go. Panic button is just yep. anywhere just on the screen. Smack the screen. I like that. And you know, I've, I've noticed it by accident, because I'll go, oh, you're stitching too slow, and I'll go into settings to, to ramp it up, and I see it stop. But it didn't occur to me that anywhere on the screen would make it stop. I figured, oh, it knows I'm going into settings, yeah. so it's letting me take a breather to change my settings. But yep. no, it just anywhere on the screen stops. So anyway, I, I do, I love that too, Victoria. Yep. And once again, something that I find very useful. It's much easier to hit the screen than to find the button. So that's my turbo tip. Okay. Yeah. 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 I liked it. Well, I, guess, that's actually, I got another I, I, I one. If you don't like that one, I got another one. No, I, no, I like that one. I, I really do. That was a good one. And I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna say and so that brings us up to workshop. Yeah. I actually have a workshop, workbench today. You do, you don't. I do. Good. I just thought of it like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> no, what, what? I prepare all week long, okay, making notes. I have like six turbo tips, which one am I gonna show today, kind of thing. Yeah. You're like, oh, I just thought of it right now. Well, I was, I realized how unprepared I was, but I, but I always like to work, I always like to use something that we ran into during the week. Yes, we do, I do when, too. When we do work I do too. Yes. And one of the things we ran into this week was actually on this particular machine. We ran into an issue with the um, tension. <laughs> And um, if you if you have a luminaire, you are aware. I'm gonna see if I can get the. Um, well, I'll just. It really this made. Me There's a little door up unhappy. here. Unhappy. I don't know if you can see it from that angle. Did it close? Um, Did it yeah, the, the door is closed. But this brings me to a very. It can open. Yeah, I hope. What's that? It'll I hope open. It opens. Yeah, it opens. Okay, good. It wasn't opening. Mm. Um. But you don't really need to see it. But what it, it did, but it brings up a very important, interesting point. Because if you have a no, luminaire, no, it did. It got stuck. Yeah, if you have it a luminaire, it would get stuck like that. Or a dream machine. There's a little door. A lot of the new brother machines have a little door that closes at the top. Um, this door wouldn't open yeah. right there. Well, here, let me see if I can put it over there. So, which means you cannot thread your machine. Yes, and and what I wanted to talk about. So right over here is there's a, that little door right there, and if I pick my foot up, you see how that door opens? It's open? supposed to open. It's supposed to open, and it closes. Um, now, not all machines have that door. Now, the reason that that, that, that happens um, is very specific, and, and I've actually run into this. People will bring their machines in and say, my tension is all off, or I've got issues with... One of the things you have to do when you thread your machine, always thread a sewing machine with the presser foot up. Mm -hmm. The reason being... I always Put me do. back over on this camera. That's, I did not break this machine. The reason you always want to thread with your presser foot up is in here is a little tension disc. And that tension disc closes when the foot goes down. Or when the foot goes down, that closes. When the foot comes up, it opens. And if you thread your machine, you can go back to me, Eddie. If you thread your, if you thread your machine with your foot down, the tension disc is closed. Mm -hmm. So your thread may not actually be sitting inside the tension assembly properly. And what will happen is you'll start to sew and you'll have no top tension. Your back looks really bad. You get super big loops. Mm -hmm. um, all sorts of tension issues because the thread didn't sit into the tension assembly. So you always want to thread your sewing machine with the foot up. Yes. So this is making me do that. That's why Brother has the door on top. Except when it won't do what it's supposed to do, <laughs> you can't thread you can't your thread. machine. But that's why a lot of the higher end machines, a lot of machines now have that function on it because that forces you to thread it with the foot up, so then you're not going to run into this problem. I've actually had machines come in for repair that they thought it was wrong. I actually was taking a pair of needles, yeah. uh, ply, needle nose uh, yeah, ply. tweezers, yeah. and trying to thread by yeah. getting in there, and I couldn't even do that. Couldn't get it to thread. Yeah. I but wanted to just break the thing. Well, we've got it sorted. <laughs> but, it, but, but that's a very... Chisel! Chisel that little thing right and then, out of there. And then, as a side note... <laughs> Just as a side note, because we're, we, we're doing tech stuff. Yeah. Long arm machines, the good ones, I don't say all, most of them don't have intermittent tension. That's right. why when you pull your thread through a long arm, it's super hard. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you pull it with your foot up through a sewing machine, it pulls through really easy. Mm -hmm. Because long arms don't need that intermittent tension of the foot up and down. Because the foot's always down on a long arm, basically. I, on a long arm, I would start up here. Yep. And then get a loop and then... And I would never just pull the whole yeah. way because it would break. Forever yep, be, it would break. Be, it would break because it doesn't have the intermittent tension that yep. you get with a sewing machine. Yep. 
Um, and that's and so yeah. So like you said, fixed it by put some. It needed some oil. Needed some. It needed some oil. Not really. There's a. It's. We have a new attention assembly ordered for you. Yeah. There, okay. I, th I think. This I, poor pumpkin. I have run into this <laughs> once before. Good news is this is mine, not yours. <laughs> it's all covered under warranty. I still love him. Oh yeah, it's a. It's an easy fix. It's just um, because it's under warranty, we're just gonna order a new part. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm sure we could just call it fixed because we have it fixed, but no, I'd rather... No, no. I would, I would rather just get a new one because it's warranty. Yeah. So why don't we just... It literally yeah. got to the point where it couldn't start again. Yeah, because... It because had an error code, and it's like, you're not sewing with me, you're not embroidering with me, and it all had to do with that silly little door. Well, it's the, the, the door is actually actuated by this little motor up here. Yeah. And that motor wasn't turning all the way, because every time you turn your uh, brother's embroidery machine on, it does a self-check, which mm -hmm. is all your clickety-clack-clacks and doodads and all that. Mm -hmm. And if one of those motors doesn't complete its self-check, you'll get an error message. And, and what, what was happening is there was a piece that was dragging up there, so that motor that actuates the door wasn't fully o fully actuated, so it would throw an error that says your, your You need to take bad. your machine into brand, yeah, so, basically, yeah, that, is yeah. what it said. I took it all apart first, though. Yeah, you didn't see how far apart Eddie had. Oh no, I didn't go that far. <laughs> yeah, but it's like I said, it's it's um we're gonna actually replace that whole assembly. But yeah. as a, the, the the more important takeaway is thread your machine with the foot up. It makes it does it can make a big difference. And if this doesn't behave, yeah, it's a matter of time before you need Brent. So yeah, because it started getting ugly. And the and other then it, thing that I've run into is well, even, some people actually still sew their um. They'll thread their machine with their foot down. They've been doing it for years. Oh. And they don't know that you have to put it up because most of the time it's going to sit. Once you start sewing it, it gets pulled in and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. So if you run into intermittent tension issues, it could be that you just have to make sure that you're threading with the foot with the foot up. up. Because so it's not always yeah, it's not always going to cause tension yeah. issues. It's just now and again. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a very hard to track down if that it, because it's a threading issue. It's got nothing to do with the machine. It's an operator issue. And it's very hard for me from a tech standpoint to catch that when you bring it in and you're like, Well, I followed oh, the rule. Is it my consistent? Tensions are all off. Is it consistently happening? I said yes, yes. Brent, I'm coming that's, in. That's a pretty it good, is consistently not a working. Pretty good rule of thumb. If it's consistent and reproducible, yeah. we can fix it. All right, enough of that. Yeah, that He's we, working we went again, on forever. Thank goodness. No. Enough of that. All right. I know I keep talking about Unbrilliance, but I got I based on things that happened during the week, I got something I want to show regarding Unbrilliance and Brilliance and Essentials. Essentials. Eddie, can you switch to my uh, computer, please? I think the keyboard shot was kind of fun. Well, it was, but uh -oh. um, are we not plugged in properly? Everybody at home is looking at a black screen, like what's okay. going on? I'm gonna unplug and replug. Unplug and replug. Oh, technical difficulties. It, nope. Well, that's going to ruin my whole learning section. Is that... Oh, yeah, that's plugged in. Yeah. Well, let me try something else on my end, shall I? Let's try a different port. We're just so professional here. On my machine. Actually, Eddie, didn't I do this before? This is all on me. Nope. I was hoping it would. Well, wait. We, we have something. Yeah, my, my, my. There Whoa. you go. There. Oh, that was my mouse. I did that last time, you remember? So what's the, what do you have the adapter on there for? <laughs> because if I'm feeding into an old-fashioned HDMI oh. cable or somebody's old-fashioned USB stick. You need that. I need that. Old-fashioned. But, but we bought a really good cord. So I don't need this. And when you use it and you don't need it, apparently... It doesn't like it. Yeah, so that's over there for now. Okay. All right, so sorry, Eddie. That was me again. I did that last time. That was, that was fun. Maybe, you'll, maybe I'll learn something about that, that, that was a couple minutes of extra content. Yeah. Okay, so in, Br in Brilliance Essentials, uh, one of my favorite people in my life, my sister is making a pirate flag. How is your sister doing? I she's know. doing great. Okay, I don't completely she, I should shut up. She has two thing. grandchildren and she's got a new swing set coming and she wants to make a pirate flag for the swing set. So she goes out and she finds this little pirate looking guy yep. and she goes, but it's too small. Can I make him bigger? And I said, yeah, you can. And can I make it bigger and not have the stitches be awful? And I go, 
Yeah, you can. Do you have in Brilliance Essentials? Now, I know we can, some degree, we can yep. do it on our machines, but I go, do you have in Brilliance Essentials? She goes, yes, I do. And she shows me, and I go, no, you have in Brilliance Basic. So send it up, because I'm a good sister. Send it to me. I'll do it for you. I'll send it back to you. But watch the show, because I'm going to show you how easily you can do it yourself. But she's, not, but she's not on there right now. She is. She won't sign in because oh. she's like a lurker. Oh. She's just lurking. I would love her to get on here and like make jokes about your kitten wrist. Yeah, that I would, know. That would she's make lurking money. in the background. I want to tell you that it is currently on sale for $139. I got their website right here. You can buy it direct from them. And if you don't like it, you get your money back in 90 days. So to me, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. It's easy breezy. Um, what I wanted to show you is how easy what she wanted to do was and what else she could do with it just by having this little hundred and thirty nine dollar piece of software so let me close this window down oh i should shrink you completely i'm going to go into imbrilliance now now keep in mind i have all of imbrilliance not just what she wants this is what she want wanted she Morning. wanted thank you she wanted a pirate sign that would fit like in her 9 by 14 hoop and she wanted the last name Wizakirky on it and she wanted Wizakirky to curve I like that his was, hat. I thought that was supposed to say Wiseacre. Oh, she'll appreciate that. <laughs> and she wanted, I probably should have fuzzed that out, sorry teen, but she, wanted, she doesn't live around here so we're safe. Um, she wanted it to curve like the hat and I go, easy peasy. She goes, well my Pirate thing is only so big. And I said, well, you know what? That's a show. This is the kind of stuff I want people to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to her originally purchased design, which is right here. And when I click on him, you'll see this is how it comes in. It comes in at, I'm going to round it off, six, six and a half inches by, get my glasses, by, by six, five and a half inches by six and a quarter. I'm rounding it off. That's kind of a tiny flag. It's not even close to what she wanted, right? Yeah, that's not going to be very fearsome when you're sailing the high seas. But let me, let, me, let me just show you something that makes this software so... If you have an embroidery machine, oh my lord. Look at right down here at the current stitch count. See this? 14,520. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you a story. Can you, see, can you see that, Eddie? Can people see that? Because I can't see it. Um, watch what happens automatically with this okay. software. Okay, You're going to hold off. I'm going to hold off because this is a discount story. Remind me to tell you later. Automatically with this software, okay? I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say, oh, she wanted it to be, I'm just making this up. This isn't exactly what she wanted. She wanted me to make it eight inches. Well, as soon as I make it eight inches, because this lock is on, it automatically keeps it in... Um, keeps the aspect ratio. Aspect ratio. Yes. So now he's grown up, but look at what happened automatically to the stitch count. It went up to 18,846 stitches. This is going to stitch out as perfect as this size as it was at the little size. Likewise, let's say I wanted to make it a lot smaller because when she's done, she may want to make little matching t shirts for her little bros. And then all of a sudden, you want it really small. I can change that and I say, oh, I only wanted two inches. Whoops, hit return. Whoops, I didn't, I didn't hit the return, obviously. There we go. Now he's really tiny. He's two by two and a quarter. See the stitches? 9,080. I don't have to even think. It automatically recalculates the stitches for you for 139 bucks. Now, so I've already not, told so you. You don't I, have to worry about density or any of that. It just doesn't no, all, all no, nice. automatically. And I also don't have to worry about, like, if I really wanted to. Now, she's making one pirate flag. I'm not sending stuff to an electronic cutter for one pirate flag. Yeah. But I've already shown you how easy it is to also click on those pieces that you want to cut, make them applique position, and send them to an electronic machine. Hey, well, if you're going to make that little tiny one, you'd want to put that on your electronic machine because that would be a pain to... No, no, you can still trim around. Oh, Depends okay. on how many I'm making. Yeah, but something that's small. Know, I guess you don't have big gorilla fingers, so. Yeah, it depends on my. But so let's go back to the 8 inch, because that's closer to what she was hoping. Now, I'm going to oh, use my new trick of clicking down here to rotate my hoop. Wasn't that slick? 
And then I'm going to take this guy, and I'm going to rotate him because I want you to see how easy it is to put the lettering in this thing. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is not... This is step by step. If you do nothing else, this is, makes it worthwhile to me. So I'm going to rotate him in my hoop. See? Like that. Now what I want to do is I want to put a name in it. Is right, it Brent? Coming through on... Oh. Right, Brent? It's not coming through. Oh. Oh. It hasn't been the whole time. Oh, no. Oh, I can go fix it real quick. What so then this there? big A right here, up here, guys, that's my text tool. So I'm going to click on my text tool, and I'm going to write, um, I'm going to write something different. I'm going to write Miss Muffet. Whoops, I forgot. I have to highlight over here. Comes in automatically as ABC. That's not what I want mine to say. I want it to say Miss Muffet. And I hit return, and I know it's a little hard to see, so I'm going to move it up. I'm going to try and move it up. I'm going to click just on my letters. Come on, letters. Move. I've got a measuring tool. Is that coming off of the computer or off of your side? Oh, i got to go back to my arrow. Sorry, guys. There we go. Now, every... It's coming on. It just has the wrong... On it. Every single letter comes in so you can negotiate letter by letter. That's what those green boxes are. That's not what I want to do. I just want to curve the whole thing to match his little hat. This is the beauty of this. Come over here. You see this little circle guy right here? I need to get a highlight, a mouse highlighter. This little circle thing means, look, can you bend him? Watch how easy this is, guys. See this top button here for radius? Watch what happens to my lettering. Did you see what happened? We're just playing with that radius. I can make him rounder. Do you see? Do you, can you see it? Are you as mid as I am? And then I'm just inching him back in place. Do you see that? And then I say, oh, my T's a little lower than my M. So I can click on all my letters and I can rotate it just a tad. And this is basically what it, whoop, done. Custom size, custom lettering, ready to go. And I can also watch it stitch out. Let's watch it fast. Now, when you resize the whole thing, will it resize the lettering with it? Or did you just Yes, if I had put the lettering in first. Yeah, okay. But I didn't. I waited till I got it the size I want to pick the lettering I wanted and get that curve right. Because yeah. the curve could change depending on when you're resizing it. So now what you're seeing is you're seeing this whole thing stitch out on your screen so you know where your appliques are. Come on. It's going. This is as fast as I can make it go, people. But And I left the letters as last. So let's say she wants to make more than one and she wants to put different names in each thing. Just go in and change the letters. Mm -hmm. Nice. And here they so, come. Let me tell you my, my stitch count story real quick. Here it comes. Wait a minute. I got, I got to see the... This is it. Look at this, guys. It's just like that. It's done. Custom size, custom lettering. Save it to your USB stick. Unless you have a wireless machine like the Luminaire. If you're, if you're like me, you just go up here why I'm on my Luminaire, you go up to Utility, and you go, send to Lumi, and you can give it a name, I'm not going to, I'm just going to, you'll be able to see it up there for, if all goes well, and it should. If Miss Muffet looks yep. like that. Go ahead, look at, look at, uh, go in the, out of there, and look at the pocket, you'll see it saved over there, uh -huh. and you'll see it 9 by 10. No distortion, guys. That's, it's 139 bucks in MIP. so what I've showed you already is how to create cut files. Uh, how to resize images, and you know, she can add images to one another. Like if she had another, I don't know, a dog that she wanted to add to this, she could. So there you go. Right there, there you go. Yeah. You're right there. Yeah. See it on the screen? Came over. Bada bing, bada boom, done. Bada -bing. Ba -boom, ba boom. Nice. I know. I like it. I know. You're welcome, Tina. You're welcome. And now it's on film, so she can be watching yes, again and again and again, and, and know how to do something that a lot of people want to do. Yeah, and, they and just, that's a, and that's a, they get starstruck. I forget how to do it. Well, guess yeah. what? You just got step by step how to do it. Yep. Yep. That's it. Cool. Yeah. Nice. And so, so anyway, somebody called me up, and they're they're selling okay. their they're selling their luminaire. Um, Ooh. And, and she found somebody's gonna buy it, so she called me. You know, the lady that was gonna buy it had all sorts of questions, so she's got me on the phone to make sure everything was fine. And I'm like, that's cool. And um. She told me the price, and my jaw dropped, and I told her immediately that if she doesn't buy it, 
to call me so because I know somebody that will. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. the only issue, high stitch count. High it stitch had count. about 35 million stitches on it. Yeah. Not on it's mostly but the, the person that the was looking at it, the, the, the person that was looking at it decided to pass on it because the stitch count was too high. And she and so when I asked, well, what do you think a reasonable stitch count would be? She's like, well, you know, I wouldn't want anything above 2,000. 2,000 stitches? Yes. That's one design. You just saw I had 21. Yes, See, I added lettering, yeah. so now I'm at 21. Or even 20,000 stitches. You're still, that's... That's nothing. That's That's just test driving. Yeah. So as just as a hint, if you're looking at sewing at, at Brother Machines, 35 million stitches, it's been used. I'm not saying that, yeah, that, that that's not used. a low count, but that's it's it's, it's in its midlife. Right. right. Um, 20 million stitches is when the maintenance light comes on. Just keep that in mind. Yeah. If you do nothing to your machine except vacuum it out and oil, you know, vacuum it out again, and at 20 million stitches, you'll get a little man that pops up and says, "Time for service." Do you really? Yes. If I've you get never it, seen. I've that. only seen, I think. Four machines actually have that happen. I've never seen that. Yeah, it, it, and mine runs every day. Yeah, it I, takes I can't have a coffee long, without my takes a long out. time to get there. But twenty million stitches, the maintenance light will pop on. Wow. And if that happens, yeah. call me. I'll tell you how to turn it off. Yeah. Or you can bring it in. And we'll you know we'll sprinkle holy water on it and hit it with a brush and say but, it's But fixed. truthfully, and then I know I'm off track a little bit. So little of it is mechanical. Yeah, it's all the the just. I mean, we're way off track, but okay. the, I did have I, a, I know, but I had a dream machine that came in. With close to 60 million stitches on it. It's actually our classroom machine. It's got, you know. I bet it does work on the, uh, I'm sorry, Lynn. I bet you it will work on the Destiny. Yeah. The, the button thing. Oh, yeah, it, for sure it will. But, yeah. It she messes up a lot. <laughs> sometimes it's not us. Sometimes it's not us. <laughs> it's always, it's always the machine. Yeah. yeah. I like to blame the machine. But it's always yeah. the machine. Anyway. Anyway, so that's that. That's that. Yeah. All right. Well, I thanks. guess that's everything. Yeah. Look at that, we kept it to 45 minutes. We did it. I don't know how. And Because we just, a lot we of did information. It. We did. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. okay. Well, I hope you have fun. Uh, get a chance to play with them. Brilliance. Go yep. for it, guys. It does so much more, too. It really does. I've just been touching it. People ask how I do something. I'm like, hey, let me show you that. And likewise, I did want to say if anybody else has something else they want to see demonstrated, yeah. Let me know. Shoot us an email or put a comment. Yeah, let me know. So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Shenanigans with Brent and Becky. We hope you all learned something today. Join us again next week at this same time for more enlightening, crafty information. So on and be excellent to each other. Uh -huh.